people say, I read Salah, but my child or my children don't. And sometimes when you ask them further, you find out that when they are fulfilling their Salah, the expression on their face is that of sadness. The expression on their face is that of fulfilling a job or a chore that is very difficult. So they are looking very sleepy and they get up last minute and they, they, they really get over with it as though they are in a gym engaging in some gymnastics and thereafter they are completed and they are back into bed or they have disappeared. When the children watch this, they would not be interested in fulfilling salah, even though you are fulfilling it. The reason is your expression. The reason is your attitude towards the salah. When you come for salah, when you come on a Friday, you're always late. You're always the last person. Your children, they won't even come. But if you come early and you come into the first saf or you try to sit at the beginning in, in the front section, etc., your children, if they were to follow you, perhaps if they were a little bit lazier, they'd make it to the second section. But if you made it to the second all the time, they would make it to the third. And if you made it to the third, they might not even be pitching up to that masjid. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. So when you get up early for Salatul Fajr, enthusiastic, you are smiling, your expression is good, you make the wudu, you feel so good, you've dressed in nice clothing, you stand in front, your children are watching you, they see mom and dad and the others, the older siblings perhaps are engaging in an act of worship that they are enjoying. You, you smile when you are completing your salah and you are so delighted and happy. Wallahi, they will see the contentment that there is in your face and they will want to be like that. When they fulfill it, they will do it with a smile. Subhanallah, this is an amazing piece of advice. We've seen it working and we need to make ourselves understand that it's our duty to pass the baton to our children. If you don't have the baton yourself, how are you going to pass it to your children? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. May we be from among those who love fulfilling the five daily prayers. Come what may, don't let the day pass. Don't let the day pass without fulfilling your basic obligations unto Allah. Rabbul Izzati wal Jalal.